Hello, hey everyone, welcome along. How is everybody doing? Hey, it's Luke here. Welcome to another Lego building stream. Hope everyone can hear and see me all right. Um, I think you can, because I can hear and see me okay, which is usually the test, the truest test of all. Hey, Luke says Andrew D. Okay, that's good. That's how I know I'm coming through. Um, John Sharplin, wow, straight out the gate with a with a hefty super chat. Thank you, that's very generous. Saying, hey Luke, can't stay, just wanted to drop, drop you a tip and say hello to chat. Hope everyone's doing well today. Well, John, yes, very well, thanks. Okay, right, well, if, if you've not joined one of these before, basically, we build some Lego. That's literally it, we just build some Lego. Um, let me show you what we're building. It's pretty freaking good. The Botanical Collection Bonsai Tree. It's part of the um, Lego Creators set. I think its technical description is actually something like the Lego Adults Creator set, which is a little odd. But uh, there you go, the Lego Bonsai Tree. So, crack that open in a minute. First, let's get the little shake. Lovely. Now to set expectations, this is a huge set. How many pieces are we talking? 878 pieces. There's no way I'm going to finish this in one stream. This is going to be a multi-parter. But um, so I don't really know at what point we're going to stop. Today I'm just going to go for, I don't know, maybe 90 minutes, maybe two hours, and we'll just see how far we get. Cool. Okay, so we'll crack that open in a moment. Um, See what everyone else is saying. Gentle Mandrill says, hey Luke, very happy uh, that you found the time to do one of these streams again. I miss the chill Thursday vibes. Also, how is Gravity Rip going? Well, thank you for asking. Gravity Rip, the uh, uh, anti-gravity sci-fi tabletop RPG that I'm currently um, working on. Uh, it's, it's going well. It's really close to being finished and uh, I can't wait to release it. I am getting my release plans in order, figuring out things like where it's going to be on sale and setting up pages. I'm at that stage. I'm at the proofreading stage and no longer at the like number crunching stage, which feels really good. But that's the reason that I haven't done one of these streams in a while because, um, man, it's so time, it's so time consuming. I'm trying to do a really good job. I'm trying to like really like do, do it justice. Um, and, uh, well, you know, just do do the do the do the best I can with it, really. But uh, yeah, it's um so time so time consuming. <laughs> I had no idea. It's as bad as it's as bad as the music making in terms of time. Even just like now that the game's made, it's just like setting up pages on stores. And I'm trying to be a little ambitious with it as well. Like you know, into, I'm trying to. I don't know if I should even say this. All right, with the with the assurance that like nothing is guaranteed, I am. Um, uh, I, I am trying to make a print version happen. Uh, I, I want it to be on sale in electronic PDF form and also on sale maybe a little further down the line in, in, in print form, potentially. But again, nothing is, nothing is, nothing is certain. Mm. Anyway, uh, he asked what I'm drinking. It's, um, it's, it's Diet Coke with a, with a little splash of vodka in it because, you know, it's been a long day. Right, oh gosh, we've got more, more, more chats coming in. Um, let's read them as I open the box. Scott Jacob says, whoa, 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 you build Lego sets on stream? Slow down. I need to write this down. It's, it's pretty co- I don't know how I'm going to get into the box. I may have fallen at the first hurdle here. Um, Fran Fry says, all ready to go. You'll grab your snacks and lean back. You're doing great, Luke. You take all the time you need. Thank you. Sam Street says, congrats on coping with power outage, Ellen Boss and Quilag. Plans for more Souls Academy? They inspired my wife and I to finish Bloodborne and Demon Souls. That's lovely. I don't know. We'll see where we're at when we finish Dark Souls, but I'm glad you're enjoying it. I really like playing it because, I, I, well, I'm not playing it. I really like just watching. Um, yeah. Okay. Right. Right, 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 right. Where were we? Where were we? Okay. Opening the box. Ah, look, found it at last. The little punch punch box. There we go. 
We're in. We are in. There's another 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 push point here. See it down there on the second camera, which we will switch to once we get into the uh, minutiae of the construction. Oh, a little bit of cardboard fell out. That's all right. Oh yes, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of bags. This is a lot. Oh my gosh, they just keep coming. And these? What are the. Looking forward to finding out what they are. I'm going to put them back in the box for now so I don't lose them. Okay. We've got six. Is there a higher number than six? Six bags. This is the most stacked with bags my desk has been. Even the manuals wrapped up and beautifully presented. Let's get in there. Here we go. Alright, here's the manual look. Oh, it's a long one. Nice. Bit of information. Oh, here we go. Some, some bonsai facts. Let's read them. Check it out. The art of the bonsai. The art of growing miniature trees and decorative pots originated in China over 2,000 years ago. This Lego variety is much more modern, but the process and outcome is the same. You assemble, plant, and prune your Lego bonsai, then watch as it grows into a beautiful creation you can be proud of for yourself and share with others. Enjoy. Well, that's nice. And a little bit about the, um, the designer of this set. There's your intel there on Nicholas Vass. Growing up in New Zealand, Lego designer Nicholas Vass always loved trees and plants, but admits to being pretty bad at looking after them. Luckily, he's much better at creating beautiful horticulture from Lego elements. I well, it's, it looks excellent. His first Lego bonsai tree was created as part of his work with the Lego Ninjago series, and since then he's become the bonsai specialist within the Lego design team. Brilliant. Fantastic. Mr. M. Binder in the chat says, the designer's forest of bonsai trees is really something. I'm going to have to look that up. Let's try and look that up now. I'll have to clear the way. Let's put these down just for a moment. There we go. We'll come back to them in a sec. I want to find a picture of this bonsai garden so that I can stick it in the chat. wasn't as much of an immediate zero second slam dunk Google as I thought it would be. I'll look that up later. Or if you you know if you know what to look for, just pop a link in the chat. Okay, right, well, we'll crack on with the first first box. First first bag even. Uh, Fran Fry says, um, I would PS, I'd like to announce squad member uh, DeSalto has coined the most beautiful term Lukalele. <laughs> How many Lukaleles do you have, Luke? Um, I have one and a half if you count the Hydra on the wall there as um, as one and a half, which I do. And Jorgen Ervik says, have you listened to Critical Role's animated theme? If yes, any thoughts on it? And would the Oxventurers kickstart for an animated series? Man, that would be brilliant. Um, uh, I haven't heard it. I haven't heard it. I wasn't aware of it, but I'll, I'll listen to it for sure. Um, that sounds cool. An animated Ox Venture would be the most incredible thing. Okay, I've got bag one. Okay, is there any, any more business before we before we get building? Y yes, yes, one more thing. Um, thank you to everyone uh, who may have seen on my Instagram stories that my wife, Maddie, launched an Etsy store uh, last week. Um, she's a brilliant um, uh, painter and calligrapher. 
uh, and graphic artist, and um, she she finally finally launched uh, an Etsy store with some real awesome geeky stuff on it. So thank you if you saw that and went and, and bought a print. Um, there are a couple of new designs on uh, this week. Similarly geeky, all the other ones were uh, Soulsborne related, Steam and Souls, Bloodborne, Dark Souls. Uh, but these ones are no less geeky. I think I have some pictures somewhere. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Oh, we got two, two new ones. First, here we go, look at this. We got Gandalf's poem that he writes to Aragorn. Yeah, callig calligraphized there. Um, very nice. All of his gold does not glitter. Not all those who wander are lost. And so on and so on. Um, with some Gandalf rune action going on there. And this, I mean, is my personal favourite as a big, big Witcher fan. Um, get some Geralt Wins Howling in there. Uh, I'll pop a link in the chat if you're um, if you're interested. Uh, cool. There we go. Pop that in there. Um, Right, anyway. Anyway. Ah, oh, this is a nice, very nice comments in the chat. Um, oh, Mr. M. Binder says, I put the picture on Luke's Twitter for the trees. Oh yeah, the trees. I do want to see this. And I'm not afraid to not build any Lego <laughs> until we see it. Can I get, see, get it in my notifications? Can I see it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on, come on, come on. Don't see it yet. Ah, oh, damn! I don't see it. Sorry. Um, I'll check. I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll check back later. Hopefully, we can get that before before, before the end of the stream. Um, <laughs> Shy Violet says, "Sounded like Gandalf was right in the room with us." Nick Jeffrey says, "I do hope that this is a spooky Lego set." Uh, as I'm missing your spooky stories. Also, if you speak to Johnny, tell him good luck from me. Yeah, today, Donny, jo Johnny's last live stream for Dicebreaker before he goes solo. He's setting up a Patreon, which um, I encourage you all uh, to get involved with because um, I've, I've been privy to some of the details of it and it is awesome. Uh, yeah, he's, he's going to be launching his own YouTube channel and uh, the rewards he's got for uh, Patreon, his, his patrons are really really cool and really creative including like uh one shot uh like tabletop one shots that he's going to be like writing regularly and releasing to paint so like if you play a lot of tabletop that's like that's the that's the thing to be checking out um yeah uh gentle mandrill says the story is so cool so many cool prints and the calligraphy is just so amazing your wife is very talented and you better believe i'm gonna get a print ah oh, gentle mandrill that's cool Oh, and Thury Weaver says that they bought the Lord of the Rings one. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Thury Weaver. Cool. Right. Shall we do some Lego building? That, that I've, I've, I feel like I've procrastinated a lot here. I feel like the fact that I've said up front that I'm going to be splitting this into several streams has basically given me too much license to um, procrastinate. So no more. Let's, let's do some actual building. Um, right. Let's skip to hands cam. Um, so that we can see what we're doing. Right, bags one, two, and three uh, are basically going to be the base with all the pebbles and the trunk of the tree. So, that's what we're cracking on with first. And then you can see four, they're going to make us wait. They're going to really make us wait to do the to do the branches. Five is the cherry blossom, so I guess we'll do five. I, I think, I think we should do the, um, I think we should do the pink blossoms. Personally. Personally, uh, Mohammed uh, Medat Salem says, "Is Johnny still going to be in the Ox Venture and Blades in the Dark?" Yes, he is. He will still be uh, appearing um, in Ox Venture in all its forms, and uh, yeah, we're we're delighted to we're delighted to have him. Um, so yeah, do not worry; there will be no change to Ox Venture. Um, yeah, and then we've got bag six is going to be this this thing. This thing. Cool. Okay. Right, well it all begins with bag number one. So let's 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 get that let's get that open. Let's spill all these bits out. A bit of bag foley. The pink one is the pink one is frogs. We'll have a we'll we will have a I tell you what, let's do that now. So something really, really interesting and unusual about this set is that you can see all of these cherry blossoms, you can see them there in their bag, are tiny frogs. 
let me I might just uh, I'm just gonna tweak the fo the focus on on this so that I can um, show you some like slightly more close-up stuff there you go isn't that cool tiny frogs that's beautiful right now I've got to put the focus back though because <laughs> okay so we'll put that away for now this is a treat for further down the line Cool. Um, oh, Megan Conway says, Maddie's work is so beautiful. How long has she been making such lovely art? Also, I adore Blades in the Dark. It's such a fun addition to Oxventure. Thank you. The weird thing about Blades in the Dark is we have filmed so much more than there is out. So the, what we just finished in terms of the most recent one that went up um, is the conclusion of phase one. Uh, phase one of the Blades in the Dark escapades. Um, so it's weird. It's weird, basically, them going out uh, and me knowing like quite how much more of the story there is already, uh, yeah. So we're into we're into the second phase, and yeah, I'm really excited for the next episode because it's going to basically like set up what the next like series like plot plot escalation is going to be. Um, oh, and Megan, to to your other point, um, uh, my wife Maddie's been been making such lovely art as you very kindly put it for a uh, for a long time. She's um she's a, a, a She's a graphic designer um, by trade, but she specialises in these um, uh, sort of almost lost arts is probably the, the way to put it. Um, sign painting, calligraphy, these like obscure but very uh, demanding in terms of skill um, practices. Okay. Noah Blumenthal says, hey Luke, can't wait to try your TTRPG. Also, can you say hello to my wife, Lita? She wants to build a Lego bonsai, but is having trouble finding one. Hey Lita, how's it going? Um, I got mine on the UK website uh, for John Lewis. Um, so I don't know, possibly you will have some luck there. I don't know, but I know that loads of people have got in touch to say that they really want this set, but are having trouble finding it. Um, so... Best of luck is all I can say, and and keep at it, because the stores will refresh, the bonsai will be yours, and it will be it will be worth the wait. Okay, all I've done so far, in gosh, nearly twenty minutes, is get this bit out. So we really do need to crack on. Okay, two of these we're after now. So let's go find them. Uh, they're going to be in this little bag, aren't they? Oh gosh, tiny white stud bouncing, bouncing free desperate to get out and be lost on the floor we got our thingy what's it called you know this thing we got a one of them okay right okay so we take this pop one on there find the other one uh, which will be in here somewhere there it is, and pop that on the other side. Easy as you like. Uh, good, next up, grab another one of these, and this, oh, hang on. No, that wasn't right, that should have gone there. Okay, there we go, we formed a sort of, we sort of made a pleasing noise. Made a little base. Great. Next step, um, we're just going to put these grey pieces all around it in a in a sort of ring. Let me adjust my camera a little for uh, now, that we've, now that we're now that we're properly off to the races. Do, do, do. There we go. So yeah, just ringing ringing it around with these these grey pieces here. So we've got to find six of them. They're easy enough to find though. Here's one, two, three, four, five. And where's my sixth? Come on. Let me see it. There it is. Six. Okay. All right. Now we simply. Oh boy, hang on. I think these actually go, un yeah, like underneath. Yeah. 
Okay, well, all right. I can see. I can see why this is the the Lego set for grown-ups. None of these pieces are giving me vibes um, of like any super pleasing snaps, you know, snap sounds. But do not worry, as soon as I find one that I think is going to make a good noise, you know I'll be, I'll be snapping it. And you go there, I think. There we go, well, that one gave me some trouble. This is just symmetrical, all around the edge. And we are good. There we go. It's nice and solid. Next, four of these studs, four of these grey bits, just around the outside. We can do that. We have to do that. That's how the Lego is made. Kate Marie says, I blame Luke for getting me into Lego. It's an extremely expensive hobby. <laughs> Agree. <laughs> But, you know, it's so nice. Um, I have so many friends who are really into jigsaws these days. Um, and I do like a jigsaw, but for me, Lego just scratches the same itch and I just find it so pleasing. Oh, Lady Sanctuary 93 says, Payday, so I've just bought the Lord of the Rings print. I love her work, but not played. Soulsborne, excited for chill frog Lego and chats. Thanks, Lady Sanctuary 93. Hope the chat is up to scratch. Okay. Good, that is there. I found my, oh, I'm still missing one, one of these gray threesy pieces. There it is, pop you down. And then four white studs. I can see them immediately, which is a nice treat. It doesn't always work out that way. So let's pop them on. They're going in these little gaps that you can see here. So, fine. And on the other side too. Nice. Ashar Otto says, Luke, I love your recent album, even though I sadly couldn't find it on Pandora. Oh, um, I'm sorry about that. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's been submitted to Pandora, so it should show up at some point. I have very little control, unfortunately, over when these things arrive. I got an email, I think this morning, actually, from the, dist the distributor that basically said, like, oh, we think you're, we think you're live now on iHeartRadio. So I was like, uh, okay, cool. Fair enough. Um... Right, that's done. Next is, oh, this is cool. Check this out. This interesting looking piece here is going on next. And four of these white corners. Can we get that up any closer? Okay. So that must be this. Yeah, look at that. It's an interesting piece. Look, it's got this kind of almost serrated but not quite serrated kind of edge. You know what I'm going to do? This might be a terrible idea. Tell me if this, tell me if this sucks. Uh, I'm going to turn on autofocus in the hope that it means I can show you real up close bits like this. Like this. Come on, don't embarrass me now, camera. I trusted you trusted you and now you're, you're, you're showing me up in front of the whole stream. There we go. <laughs> that is rubbish, isn't it? That is just not. What I really need is a focus dial for this webcam. That would be so good. All right, okay, okay. You know what? Never mind. it's too fussy. I'm just gonna, I'll go, I'll go back to, uh... Plan B. Manual focus. Oh yeah. Right, they really did not like that. So that's just going bang in the middle. Easy. Oh, Elven Ringbearer, thank you very much uh, for the super chat says, here's money for your next Lego set. Thank you. Well, that's certainly that is what what it'll be going towards. Um, I don't have I don't have one queued up. Normally, I like to sort of do a tease at the end of these streams, say like, "Oh, this is what the next one is." I think because the bonsai one's going to take me a few goes. 
I'm going to try and get hold of the Lego ship in a bottle. Um, if I can get hold of that, that's going to be that's the next one that I want to do. Um, because that set just looks so so rad. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Okay, that's that one done. Moving on to the next page. Just adding more white studs. Easy. Teresa M says watching these streams gave me the courage to start on Lego kits, and I started the medieval blacksmith this week. Oh yeah, that's a that's a beautiful set. I've uh, I've seen pictures of that. Um, it's really cool. I think that one's quite new. Um, it's super super intricate and ornate, um, but really cool. I don't know why, but I, th I think all my favourite kits are just the uh, the unlicensed ones. There we go, see that's kind of gone round in a pattern. Okay. Did you do the NES, says John Embry. No, that's the one I should try and track down, isn't it? Uh, right, next, four of these, ten of these, and we're just building a little wall around our garden, which is just lovely. Okay, one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And four of these. One, two, three, four. Very good. And these, oh, right, okay, now I've got to be a bit careful with, the, see, the placement of these is quite fussy in particular, so I've just got to be a little careful. Okay. Oh, that wasn't careful. Still haven't, still haven't got to any pieces that I feel are going to snap. These are all clicking into place quite softly. You know, that sort of soft, nice Lego. Ooh, that was, that was a reasonable snap, but we can do better. We'll find, we'll find pieces down the line. Don't worry that we'll offer a, a meatier snap than that. Okay, so that one goes here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got that right. This one goes here. And then these two complete the piece. Now I've got these studs the right way out, haven't I? Yes, good. Good. Good, 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 good. Right. What's next? Next is four of these long, thin fellas, and four of these little hinged pieces. So, let's find them and sort them out. Okay, uh, well, we're looking, they're dark grey, aren't they? Yeah, so here's one, two, oh no, I just heard a Lego piece fall on the floor. Look, I think I found it. Gosh, that was a close one. Look, it's just this tiny, tiny little turquoise piece. Ooh, that was nearly disastrous. Uh-oh, <laughs> chat's just catching up with that, yeah. Okay, you, no more rolling away. I should really just get like a bowl or something for these. Or have another drink. Lovely, okay, now these pieces, where are they going? They're going around on the sides. I feel like we could be in for a good snap here. Yeah, pretty tasty, pretty tasty. Um, and then another one on here. And then I think we just pop these in the in the center of this of these long long edges yep 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 no problem no drama no trouble now those little hinge pieces it's 2017 year of the hinge gosh that makes me 2017 that was that makes me feel that makes me feel old right one two three four okay so now i take the long edge and these hinge pieces just go off this side like that. 
No problem at all. For the first time, I am, uh, I've got the background music that's playing in my headphones as well. Um, so for the first time we've done one of these streams, I'm also hearing the music. Uh, and it's really hard not to sing along, even though I, I worry that there's probably a slight delay that makes it even more out of tune than it otherwise would be. Ooh. M. Reeves says, Hi Luke, homesick from work today, but it means I can finally catch a stream. Is there anything that doesn't exist as a Lego set that you would really love to build? Godzilla. The, the like, old school 60s movie Godzilla. Or even just like, the, you know, the modern Godzilla, but like in, in the, you know, in the Japanese design, not the 1998 um, American Godzilla, but just, oh man, I wonder if there are, there probably already isn't Godzilla Lego, I think I would have seen it. If there is, please send it my way so that I can track it down. 24 of these we want now, okay, tw 24, that's the most pieces I've ever had to collect of anything. Bad Dire Wolf, thank you for the super chat, says this is to buy a bowl or tray to put your loose pieces in while you build. That was too close a call for me with that turquoise piece. You know what, you know what, I'm not going to make you... That's very, very generous. I, I'm, come on, I must, I must have some kind of receptacle nearby. I've got a Nintendo DS. That's not a receptacle. I've got a Coke can. That's not a receptacle. In this stream, man searches for receptacle. I... Oh, I tell you what, there is some, this actually exists as Lego. There is some Avatar The Last Airbender Lego. It's incredibly uh, hard to find and really rare, but it's so cool. You can make, like, there's a Fire Nation ship. It's so awesome. Okay, I just cannot find a receptacle. Um, I will I will pop and get a bowl in, in, in a little bit. Um, thank you, Bad Dire Wolf. Okay. <laughs> Cara Dennison says, I thought that was Godzilla, as in being really excited at the idea of an Ox Venture in the Dark set. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, that's brilliant. Right, I've got to assemble my 24 pieces now. Um, I'll tell you what, I will put these in the middle. This can serve as a makeshift temporary receptacle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. <laughs> Thank you. 19, 20. I've just been handed off camera a receptacle for the for the remainder for the rest of the Lego pieces. Okay. Look at this huge bowl. I think this, this was a plant pot once. Amazing. Come through. Uh, right. All right, well, let's get fine. I'll get all. I'll put all my pieces in in this pot. Oh, that's making a nice noise. Let's get that. Let's get that foley. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's good. Okay, right. Well, now I've got my piece. The only problem is, and I don't, I don't wish to look a gift horse in the mouth, but it's a little, it's a little dark in the receptacle. Okay. Shy Violet says, "Sounds like snacks are being put into the bowl, and now I'm hungry." Right. Let's get these. Let's get these pieces on. So these are all going around the outside, as you can see, as you can plainly see. So. So I will simply do that as instructed. I can follow instructions. That's what Lego's all about. Oh, these go on really pleasingly because now, look, I've built this kind of indented shelf here around the edges. And actually, these are all going to go on super satisfyingly. Mm, this is going to look so smooth and seamless when it's done. Oh, 
Amazing. Okay. That's already looking a lot shinier and slicker, although, look, already fingerprints amassing on the shiny black bricks. Ah, oh dear. We'll give it a polish later. No point in cleaning it now. It'll only get fingerprinty again. Long old step, this. Oops, wrong way around. Nearly done. Good, good, good. Are we doing every side? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we are. But look, I've. Did I not gather enough of these up? Did I not count 24? Because look, I've done all the edges, but I've still got this whole side to do and only one left. Where did all the rest go? I mean, there are more in here, so maybe. Maybe I just miscounted. Maybe I was halfway through counting when the um, when the receptacle arrived. In any case, that is that. Beautiful. Right, let me check in with the chat briefly and also do one of my classic trademark focus adjusts now that the now that the piece we're building is getting a bit larger there we go classic classic focus adjusting ah uh, yeah i stopped i stopped i stopped the count at the wrong time okay cool well that's done next up for these long characters and they're just gonna go over the around the edges here easy enough one two three four here they are let's get them attached post haste now do they go right up to the edge or are they slightly inset no they're right up to the edge okay yes very satisfying very satisfying Good. Even though they're all the same length, they make a nice rectangle. Glorious. Next, 12 of these flat ones. Oh, we're making things even shinier. Right, let's get out my 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Great. Ah. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> now, now, don't blame the receptacle, says Shannon Bennett. <laughs> the receptacle is solid. The receptacle is sound. <laughs> um. Don't ever speak ill of the program. Okay, um, right, now let's whack these on the edges. Do, 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 do. This is a nice, easy bit, this. Oh, nearly sent one skittering across the desk there, but managed to recover it. Which is good news. Put that there. Oh, Mr. Lewis555 has been on. Hey Luke, just wanted to let you know how much I love your music. I love I went on a binge after your reveal stream and love it all. Think Seasons is my favourite. You're amazing. Thanks so much, Mr. Lewis555. That's really kind. Uh Seasons is Depending on what day you catch me, Seasons is my favourite too. I think it's 
well, well, I'm very, very proud of that one. Um, yeah, very proud of that one. Right. Now, this is an interesting piece here. Check it out. We've got four rubber tyres, four of these turquoise bits, one of which nearly escaped, and four of these bits with the pokey out bit. And we pop the turquoise bit on the pokey out bit and then put the tyre on. Now, clearly, these are going to be the feet, and actually, that's on the underside of the thing. But how clever that it uses tyres. Slightly squishy. They make a great, great noise when you chuck them in the receptacle. Ooh, get that, you get that? Lovely. Beautiful, I'd like that as a ringtone. Okay, let's make these little feats. Incredible feats of strength. First get my bits together. This goes on here. Oh, I think these are gonna snap nicely. Oh yeah, great click. We'll get we'll we'll click all of these. And then we put the wheel on. There you go. It does spin for those wondering. Click number two. Tasty. These are fun, look, because they sort of spin around a little bit. Okay, click number three. I think so far two was the best click. I don't think that beats two personally, but it was very good. Okay, next one. Could this be the one, the best click ever? I think two was the best one there. If pushed, that's what I would say. Right, so then we spin this round. And then we... Ooh, that slides very pleasingly. Ooh. Right, then these go on the bottom. And just like that, our bonsai plant pot has squishy feet. Great, 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 great. Nice. Um, what's next? Folks, we're only bloody on to bag two. Not even, I'm not even joking. You know what should have tipped me off is the fact that this is what's currently in the receptacle. I probably should have realised that there's not going to be a step that's just the, <laughs> these pieces. Okay. Bag two. All right. Bag foley. Obligatory. Now here we are clearly, from the look of it, going to be assembling some of the trunk, which I'm extremely psyched about. So let's get into it. Bring me the receptacle that I may pour in my Lego. Oh yes. And within that bag, smaller bag of goodies. Bring me the smaller bag that I may pour it into my receptacle. Bit of crinkling for you. This is why, this is why you should invest in a high quality microphone. For this purpose and no other. Okay, excitingly, this requires those bits that I put in the box at the, at the start of the stream, so let me retrieve them. Rooting around in box foley. Here they are. These little antennas. Good. These are, these are, these are hilarious. Uh, and I'm not sure why. Let's just put them to the side. They're not going to go in the receptacle. Um, so this is what we're putting together, the trunk situation. And it all begins with... Gosh, look how, look how twisted and, and gnarled it is. I'm, I'm a little daunted. 
Um, I'm a little daunted by by putting these bits together, but first we just need this disc, this disc piece. So, and it's right here. Easy. Uh, let's move this to one side for now, because I don't think we're going to need it for a while. Let me just take a swig of my beverage. Oh, yes. Mm. Very warming. Right. Now it wants one of these, two of these. Let's go, let's go receptacle diving. Ah, they're right near the top. Perfect. And they're this distinctive tan colour, which makes them a bit easier to ID from above. Okay, now let's take care to get this right. He says, before just slamming the Lego on it the first way that appears right, but I do think that is right, so. Now two of these. That's just, they're just little... They're weird, what are they? No stickers in this set. Oh gosh, these are going to be a little hard to find, I feel. Oh my, how interesting. This looks like a little, can I describe it as looking a bit like a gold brick kind of design. Look at that. Anyway, that's one. Reveal yourself. To, there we go. That's two. Uh, so they're just going to go either side of this one, down here like this. Interesting, such odd pieces. I wonder if they will even be visible by the end. Uh, now one of these and one of these. One of those is the easy to spot tan coloured bit, so that's easy enough. And then this little L-shaped brown piece, like that. This is a nice sound as well. that wasn't in time to the actual music that you're hearing then that will have been very very disconsonant and annoying it was probably annoying anyway um right cool let's pop those bits on do 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 do, do. <laughs> i shouldn't have been allowed the bowl should i oh emreve says oh, i missed the etsy link would you mind dropping a link or the shop name yeah you know what i'll just i'll just pop in the chat again Seeing as I still have the tab open. Here you go. I'll just label it Etsy. There you go. Cool. Lena Hansen, Luke, let's not procrastinate more. Also, Luke plays on a bowl for 20 seconds. I'll tell you what would be good for playing on the bowl. It's the antennas. So this piece, where are you, where, where do you call home? Okay, that's interesting. So this piece is going just on here, and then this one's going on this, up on like that. Cool. Oh, that was good. Don't you love it when things do that? Unbelievably satisfying. Right. Cool. Now I'm going for even more interesting and unusual pieces. Look at this. This uh, 
whatever whatever you call this one of these small black pieces and one of these another one of these tan ones tan ones easy to find easy to see in the receptacle there it is and then the black piece where is that where be ye ah here it be now these look at this another very unusual lego piece here it looks like a tiny frying pan but where does it go you ask well the answer comes back it goes oh it sort of sticks out on the edge of this like a little branch maybe it's a branch that would make sense wouldn't it we are building a tree and then this goes here this is all very peculiar what i'm putting together here uh this step's easy one gray piece let's power through that not get sidetracked what's it look like again there it is so that just goes on the end like that okay fine 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 and good okay now we're really branching out <laughs> it all begins with it all begins here in the high density feedlot uh, we want one of these dark brown pieces and one of these speaking of the high density feedlot it is my opinion as someone who watches an awful lot of the simpsons He's just gone here like this. It is my opinion that the um, Meet and You Partners in Freedom Troy McClure sketch in the episode Lisa the Vegetarian is, in all of The Simpsons, the highest solid, like, gag hit rate um, in the whole show. It is just absolutely relentless. Like... Stop watching this stream right now, it would be my recommendation, and just see if you can find on YouTube Meet and You, Partners in Freedom. Um, because if you haven't seen it, or if you haven't seen it in a while, it is just so freaking good. It's got so much. It's got, I was a grade A moron to not eat meat, and it's got, um, <laughs> if a cow ever got the chance, it would eat you and everyone you care about. It's got... See, your crazy friend never heard of the food chain. It's got the shark jumping out and eating the gorilla out of the water. Um, oh my god, it's got it's got like the actual meat processing plant that that Andy Farrant loves to quote so much. The uh, it's not really a floor; it's more of a steel grating that allows material to sluice through, etc., etc. Um, you sure were, Billy, says many pseudonyms. Um, okay, right, hang on, I'm trying to gather up my bits here. One of these, one of, is that the right piece? It's getting a bit dark in here. Yes, that is right. And then two of, I can't even, I can't see what that is. Just two of these little two, two pieces. They are proving a little harder to find. But we'll find them. There's one. Meet and you, partners in freedom. Okay, this is a very small piece to have proven quite so fiddly. Which way round are these going on? Lovely. Ah, <laughs> oh, the chat's just full of some good Simpsons quotes now. 
Lisa S. No, wait, that's too obvious. Let's say L. Simpson <laughs> says Sweet Monkey Tuesday. So good. Spiffy Mark says, I want to go to Bovine University. Surely they don't expect us to swallow this tripe. <laughs> okay, I will stop now because although this is so funny to me, I am aware that actually uh, I'm a dusty old skeleton and not not everyone has seen The Simpsons. Um, I suppose it's also possible that some people saw it and didn't like it. Uh, and those people right now will be thinking, man, I wish you would move on from this Simpsons stuff. So, okay. Another one of these interesting peculiar pieces here, and that's going to go on the end. Like so, and then these pieces are... Well, now this is interesting. Look, see, we've got this. And these just fit up. These just fit up on here like this. Nice and smooth. And I think this is probably going to be the base of the actual tree, which is very exciting to be assembling. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yes. Non-binary dragon bear says, might not be able to stay long as my very energetic puppy Knuckles wants to play, so have some money. Thanks, non-binary dragon bear. That was very um, generous of you. Very kind. Uh, and hello also to Knuckles the puppy. Right. Two of these, whatever you want to call these, it's very, very hard. It's hard for you to see. It's even hard. They actually show up better on the webcam than they're showing up in the room. Gosh. Okay. They're just very, very um, hard to see. The thing is, like, you can see that Lego, with the pieces, that are, the black pieces, you can see they outline them in the manual in white, so it's really easy to see. But the... They don't do that with all the pieces, which is makes this a little tricky. Okay, right, I'm going receptacle diving now. There's one, good. Found that one, got lucky there. And two. Now these go on in a slightly interesting configuration. By the looks of things. Got one going on here like this. And then this one goes on the other way. Like this, which I guess just sort of creates this organic vibe. Monkey Throw says, Oh boy, just watched it. That was so good. Remember when Simpsons was consistently hilarious? Oh, sorry, I, I said I'd move on. Right, two of these pieces that I've never seen before. So, bring me these two pieces that I might assemble them into my bonsai tree. Here's one. Look at that. You ever seen a Lego piece like that? It's got a little, little hinge, a little barred hinge on it. So we got one of those. The one, we need another one. Get some rootling foley while I rootle. There you are. We need more bought license plates in the gift shop, says Ginger Hosley. My son is also named Bort. Uh, oh, Madeline Winograd, thank you very much for um, for the for the super chat. Very generous, very much appreciated. Okay, these things are going on under here. Thank you for tuning in, Madeline. Uh, that bit goes there, and then this one. Also on the underside here, comme ça. I think that's right. Oh my gosh, now for the moment of truth. Look at this. Step 26, we combine these two elements. So here is one element. Here is the second element. And these should, I hope, line up and snap into place. Did it. Look at that. Looks like a looks like a beautiful shoe. Kate Marie says, never has anything looked less like a tree. <laughs> uh, I'm, 
I can't disagree with you. Oh my gosh. This next step is really intense. Look, get all these pieces together, then do all this to make this. And that's all one step, is it? Okay. Ah, oh, Runex Heart says, I hate every ape I see. From chimpanzee to chimpanzee. No, you'll never make a monkey out of me. Oh my god, I was wrong. It was Earth all along. Yes, you finally made a monkey. Yes, we finally made a monkey. Yes, you finally made a monkey out of me. I love you, Dr. Zayas. <laughs> right, I'm having a real hard time finding this piece or even dessert, even even seeing it in the receptacle. Like, can you tell what that is? I, don't, I, don't, I have no idea. No idea. Okay. I might have to process of elimination this bit, to be honest. That might be my only hope of finding it. It's just such an unusual... Wait, could it be this? It could be. Yes. That's it. Whew. Tell you what. The evening was not the right time to do this. I need a lot more natural light than I'm currently getting. One of these and one of... One of... That's an interesting looking piece. Is it that? No, it's not. It could be. No, it's not that. There it is. Again, so many unusual pieces coming into play here. Right, now, just build the rest of the tree. Okay, so we take this little hawk beak. It's the best descriptor I can think of for it. Goes on there. This piece then cements it all in place by going on top. Then this whatever this is exactly, goes on here. And this piece goes on the end. And then what on earth is happening there? Okay, right, okay, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. That goes there, and then I think yeah. This might be a good snap. Ah. Yeah, it's... There you go, you can see what you can see what I've put together there. That was a hard that was a hard one to see, just on the again, actually marginally easier to see on the webcam and it's still aren't very hard to see. And now we strap it to the side of this some way, somehow. I think perhaps it's just gonna go on the side here like, like that. There we go, that's it. You know what? It doesn't look anything like a tree. It looks like a sort of robotic horse's leg, but using my imagination, I can... I can imagine it coming, coming, coming together. <sighs> Great. Jarrett Meyer says, it's just brown and water. <laughs> it's just brown. Okay. Next. Ah. You know what this is, folks? 
it's a do the exact same thing all over again situation. Okay, well, hopefully this time I can find the pieces a little faster, now that I know what I'm looking for. Share the view inside the receptacle. Actually, just kind of going like this, it's quite a good way to sort of randomize new pieces and just like surface up the bits you're looking for. Now I still need another one of those hawk beak pieces, there you go. Is that everything I need? I think that's everything I need. So first I take you, my curved friend, and I clip the hawk beak on the side, like so. Why, the next step couldn't be simpler. You simply forget to have found the piece. But there it is. I've got it now. So that just goes on there. Then we take this piece and go like that. This is all familiar. We're just doing the same thing we've done before, but now in reverse. All everything mirrored. So let's get you on there. And you on there. Is that everything? I think it is. And then this just goes on the other side of the roller skate that we're constructing. And we have a very, very intricate and unusual, but broadly symmetrical tree trunk. Whew, okay. Right. Well done, the chat. I'm proud of you for keeping yourselves entertained with all this Simpson stuff. Okay, that is that. Next step. How long have we been going for, by the way? What's the time? Quarter to nine. Okay, so we've been going for... Well, we've been going for 90 minutes in 15 minutes. Okay, so we're okay for time. Um, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll aim to finish this bag. That might be a good... That might be a neat stopping point. But we're not there yet, look, because there's a... I've got to just build this big clumpy mess of brown pieces. Okay, I need a hinge. Where is the hinge? I must have the hinge. Here's one. Gotcha. Oh, we actually start with just one of those. Open it up, pop it down. One of these and one of these. Oh, interesting. So that's going on there like that, and this is going on there like thus. So that is pleasant. Can you hear that? Cool. Great. Now we need two more hinges. Hinge. Hinge. Oh my goodness, what are we doing here? We're making, we're building some kind of triple, triple thing. Let me show you what I'm looking at. It's this. Can you see here the situation where I'm adding these hinges to what I just built? Brandon Simon says, here's a small token of my appreciation for always keeping things so chill and fun. Not just here, but on Oxtra as well. Thanks, Brandon Simon. 
That's really nice of you. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it. Keeping things chill is the only thing that keeps me chill, so that's the secret. <laughs> okay, that goes there. This is highly unorthodox. And then that goes on here, and then these are just going to sort of... Ma there it is. There it is. I think that's it. Okay, I thought that was actually going to be a little bit more complicated than it turned out to be. Now we just need a few straightforward solid rectangles. One, two of these light brown ones, and then a couple of the dark brown ones as well. I don't see any of the dark brown ones unless... Unless, unless, unless... I'm actually going to use the webcam to try and see that. So hard to see. My only criticism so far of this set, they are... I think they've got little... I think they're supposed to have little holes in them. Because I've got lots of them. Lots of these ones that have little holes. Maybe if I skip ahead, I'll see something going in those holes. And that will set the record straight. No, I don't, but I'm I'm pretty sure they are. I'm like eighty. 70% sure. Hayley Jones says, if you're looking for a book to read, can I recommend So the Wind by M. L. Gray? It's an LGBT pirate book and I love it. Uh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, consider me on it. So the Wind by M. L. Gray. All right, I'll, I'll check it out. I'm always on the look. I'm, I'm doing a lot of reading at the moment, which is, which is nice. Um, Rereading the Earthsea um, books. Um, Ursula K. Le Guin's. I'm on the farthest shore at the moment. And I'm also reading something that was recommended me by, I think, I think by, I think it was Johnny. And that is, I, you know that thing where you're reading something on Kindle so you can't remember the name of it. Oh yeah. Perdido Street Station by China uh, Mayville. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I'm a bit I'm thinking maybe I didn't. Um, yeah, a secondary world fantasy with Victorian era technology. It is. Um, I'm only a tiny way in so far, but man, it's very weird. Okay. So they're done. Oscar Boskill says, I live in Lyme Regis, and if you haven't already, you should visit. It's very easy to find fossils, and the town museum is in Mary Anning's house is great. I uh, have been. I absolutely love Lyme Regis. Um, I think it's a beautiful town. Um, I understand, I think they recently were successful in their efforts to, to commission that... Um, uh, um, statue of Mary Anning, um, pioneer paleontologist, um, unappreciated in her time, uh, and largely, unfortunately, uh, under-recognised, um, because she was a woman, but, um, and, you know, in, in the unbelievably male-dominated field of early paleontology, but, um, she was brilliant, I'm a huge fan I've read a few books, uh, a few biographies of her, um, and yeah, Lyme Regis is great. Just walking along the, walking along the, down to the down to the cob, on the on the bluffs. Bluffs is that right? Anyway, yeah, got infinite time for Mary Annie. Okay. Oh, Lady Sanctuary 93 says my grandparents got engaged at the Lime Regis Cobb. Aww. 
That's so nice. Also, lovely bit of Lyme Regis in the... Well, in Jane Austen's Persuasion, uh, in all adaptations, but especially in the 1994, 1995, Kieran Hines' adaptation, which is very hard to find. I had to bag it on DVD. Some obscure period drama, but it was worth tracking down because it is the best Persuasion adaptation I've ever seen. Right, that took absolutely ages, but we did put this together. Whew, okay. Right, good. Now two of these pieces. I don't even especially know what I'm looking for there. Oh, it's got like a little tow bar. There it is. Like we're pulling a caravan. Okay, cool. Two of them. Bit of receptacle foley as we search. Found the other one. Good. Now, where are you both going? They are going on to... They are look, to be fair, these bits are looking a little bit branchy, which is good to see. You know what? I'm going to get on my phone torch just to help me. Conf oh my god, that's, yeah, that's me. I mean, that's a bit blindingly bright. But yeah, I can see now that these ones, I did, I was right to go for the ones with the holes. I had to really blast, blast out the light to make that visible. Okay. Where did we get to? Jay Hill says, I had no clue about Mary Anning until I went to the London Museum of Natural History. The fact such a key figure is talked about so little says a lot. Yes, well, uh, some of her most significant finds, I think, in fact, all of her most significant finds are in the Natural History Museum and they are, um, they are in um, one of the halls there, uh, her plesiosaurs. Uh, and ichthyosaurs, mainly the ichthyosaurs, just absolutely beautiful and just so, so huge. And you can get so up close to them because, um, yeah, it's lovely. They have actually, they've got a members area in the Natural History Museum, which I have been to a couple of times because uh, for, for a year I had membership to the museum. But, um, uh, and it's lovely in there and it's actually called the, the Mary Anning... Uh, suite, I think now, or the Mary Anning rooms, something like that. So they are, they are like trying a bit harder now to sort of give her the acknowledgement she deserves, as well they should. Um, as I remember though, uh, I, I kind of wanted to make that my sort of like out and about home office, London base in the pre pre pandemic times, but um, uh, it was not to be because. Um, uh, the Wi-Fi wasn't very good, <laughs> unfortunately, and not very many power sockets. So, yeah, the dream died there, unfortunately. Right, another we want another little tow bar. Good. Good job, chat. I can see you. I can see you're you're all recommending books to each other, which is good to see. I like that. I like that. Keeping keeping us well read. So this is going on here. And this tow bar piece is going on here. Here we go. Complicated compl com complicated bits of bits of bits of buildery here that we're doing. Hinge, need a hinge. Two hinges actually. I think these are the last two hinges. And they are going on. This is what we're doing. We're just just popping these on here. This is pretty straightforward. These bits, nothing too, nothing too complicated, nothing too interesting. We're just fleshing out the fleshing out what I think is probably going to be the trunk of 
the tree. Cool. All right, next, two of these smooth pieces here, which are just, you guessed it, they're just going on the, they're just going on the tree, mate. There's one, there's two. Cool, and they are just gonna go on. This is very promising because I like the bits where we start adding smooth pieces because it tends to suggest we've got to the outer layer of building, which feels like progress. There you go, that looks pretty glossy, pretty glossy and nice. One of you, and is that is that one of those pieces with a hole in it that I can't see? I'm breaking out the phone torch again to check because I don't want to make a mistake. Yep. So hard to see. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. And then we take this. We add that there. And now... And then this piece, this is interesting, is going to slot in here on this side side bit. Is that definitely only one? We don't want two? No, I guess not. I guess not. It definitely only specifies one. Maybe we'll add in another one further down down the line. Another one of these smooth bits and this little sort of puck-shaped light brown piece. Oh my gosh, I think it might be a frog. <gasps> it's a frog! It's confirmed a frog. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to adjust the focus to get just a really really solid look at this at this little little frog. Let's pull it as near as it'll go. There we are, coming into beautiful relief. Look at that. Look at that happy little frog. It is so small. Like, obviously we've got it like close up to the camera there, but just like look at look at its size compared to my fingernails. And look, look at it in the palm of my hand. Let's pop the focus back to where it was before. Do, do, do. Absolutely teensy tiny. Delightful. Okay. Now, you are going on here. And little brown frog, you are going on this corner facing outwards according to my instructions. Yep, there we go. The frog is in place. Marvellous. Very happy with that. Next up, some other interesting pieces including this little magic wand looking plastic tail kind of thing. Uh, okay, let's just gather up my bits. Well, there's, the, there's that sort of tail bit. I need one of these. I need one of these. And I'm gonna put one on top of Tother. Should get a nice snap from this, I think. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, and then we snap this into here. Ooh, lovely little click from that. Look at that, very interesting. And that is going on the side. I need to use the frog to orientate myself a little here and that is going to go 
Ah, do you remember earlier when I said, are we leaving that space blank? Now we're filling it with this. Which just gives us this sort of organic looking looking structure. And then, oh, very exciting. We're putting, we're joining these two pieces together. So here they are, piece one. Now, how exactly are these going to combine? So the frog, the frog is going to face forward like it's on the epic prow of a ship. Oh, okay. Oh, that's actually fairly, fairly straightforward. Whoa, look at that. And all of a sudden, from nowhere, I have to tilt up a bit here, but all of a sudden, we've got, look at the frog, just on the prow. We've got what looks like Frog is going to see. Uh, we've got what looks a little bit like it could be a bonsai tree stump. We're not done yet though. We've got a few more bits and bobs to add. You can see we've got this. Surely that's not going to be visible at the end. Okay. Oh, Thomas Ford, thank you for the super chat, says, Hey Luke, just got off work and I'm happy to catch some of the stream. I just got into a PhD program in neuroscience and I'm so excited. Much love. And then some hang 10 emoji action. Amazing, Thomas Ford, congratulations. Uh, that's so awesome. PhD neuroscience. Go, go get those brains. Go get in them. Get in them and, and figure out what all the wires do. Um... Congratulations, that's so cool. Uh, Gaz Sharp says, Have you read Empires of the Sea by Roger Crowley? Absolutely fascinating. I read it on holiday in Malta, which was particularly apt. No, actually. Um, let me look it up. Sounds like my kind of thing. Empires of the Sea. The final battle for the Mediterranean. Oh, boy. Ooh, 1521. A little earlier than my normal uh, naval military interest goes, but I could certainly be interested in get into that. Ooh. It's got great reviews. Good tip. Thanks, Gaz. Gaz Sharp. Much, 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 much appreciated. Okay. crack on. We've got one of these pieces and then one of these little, I don't really know how to describe them except like lanterns. They look like old timey lanterns to me, but we've got a lantern. Uh, and whereabouts are these going to go? Yep, we are covering up the turquoise pieces. That's basically what's happening now. So that's going to go on there. Again, it's kind of coming off with like an interesting organic angle. I'm super, super impressed at this um, at this set's ability to um, to kind of keep and to have an organic feel. I just want to check which way around this one's supposed to go. Well, by process of elimination, I guess it must be facing down. I'm so in or of like Lego design. I, d I just could never ever ever do it. Like you must just have to have the biggest galaxy brain to be able to, like I could, I can build stuff with Lego, but it would always, I couldn't put a curve in anything Lego. You know, do you know what I mean? Like, and like, see how these bits are just coming off with just a slight organic angle all over the place. It's very, very satisfying. Okay. Next, we're making these um, smooth bits here, which is delightful. We are here's what we've got left, by the way, to give you a sense. These are the pieces we've got left. It doesn't look like much, but I think there's probably some interesting stuff to be building 
there and I think probably after that we will we will hit pause there because otherwise we will be getting into a whole new bag and I don't I, I, I think probably to keep things neat and tidy it would be a good idea to pause between bags but we're not quite finished yet we need one of you one of you and so we're going to take that and that's just going to go on here I think right in the middle of there here we go nice 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 good uh, then we take this lighter a lighter brown one of the same length and just pop that under oh that's that looks too short no but that is right six pieces so that's just going to go under here like that see that's created a gap here that's uneven but i think we have to trust the manual and assume that all will make sense in the end so let's pop that down here now we're just adding decorative uh sort of corners and and things to to do that so we'll need one of these to start with that's just going to go on there and just one of them and one of these little l-shaped bits Ta -da. pop that on there one of these uh, bigger smooth pieces and that's that is going to go very pleasingly on here look oh wrong way around or, or is it I've got the wrong end there yes sorry on there look okay just like that good okay one of these wedges and another one of these smooth pieces I don't know what exactly we're building here I would assume a, a branch or a bow oh boy okay we've got a bit of a problem here because get my phone torch out again Hmm. I see what's happened. This piece here, this brown piece on the end, was supposed to go on here, just down there. Luckily, that was an easy enough fix. Got lucky there. Ordinarily, I suppose you would be building this somewhere in a more brightly lit room. You wouldn't have to keep getting your um, <laughs> phone camera out. But uh, but there you go. It's the it's the price I pay, I suppose. Okay, for the nighttime streaming. Okay, now we take the tree, which is reflecting the light, my blue lights beautifully. Look, Ooh. Uh, and we find a way to attach this. So. Again, using the frog to orient, orientate myself. That is just going to go on all the way up to... Oh, that's very pleasing. Yep. Okay. This is the back of the trunk. So just gently push that on. Oh, dear. Oops. Nearly a cuss word escaped my lips there. <laughs> right, can you see this gap here? That's just this, that's the gap I'm just trying to close. Oh, or am I? Oh, yeah, there it goes. There it goes. Just needed, it was just a millimeter out. And there we've got our curve. It's looking much more tree like. Claire T. Rex says, definitely looks like a power walker suit for a Wookiee. <laughs> well, now that's all I can see. 
and I'm happier for it. Okay, good. Now, this is where things get a little spicy right at the end, because now we're, we're in these tree trunk pieces. You see these red rods, these kind of joining rods. So, three of them we want. One, two, three. Three of the red rods. One, two, three. There they all are. Now, we take one of these. Again, very interesting and unique piece of things. See right down it. Pretty cool. Okay, so we take this. Fit one of these in there. Like that. Blinks241 says, hey Luke, great job on the last caper. Really enjoyed all the matching names. Thanks. Yes, the Blades in the Dark uh, Dimmer Sisters mansion heist. With all the, yeah, I really enjoyed coming up with those actually. Um, I had a I had a little Google Doc on standby. Obviously I have a Google Doc, Doc on standby. It's got all my names and the whole like plan. As much as there is ever a plan, it has all the plan in it. Um, now, see, do you remember the, I was saying, like, are you sure these ones have holes? Now we see why. Um, yeah, and I really enjoyed just making a plan for all the sisters' rhyming names. Maybe we haven't heard the last of the Dimmer Sisters. Okay. Right, now we do this a few more times. Oh, Fancy Space Owl says, Good evening, Luke. After I caught COVID in December, I had a pretty rough recovery, including a stay at the hospital. Oh, no, I'm so sorry to hear that, Fancy Space Owl. You and the Oxboxtra crew played a huge part in me staying somewhat positive, so thank you so much. Oh, well, I'm glad that the... I'm glad that the channels were of, were of some... some comfort, Fancy Space Owl, but I've no doubt that you've yourself to thank for, um... For pulling through that as well, I'm sure as uh, everyone who looked after you in the hospital. But that, but yeah, you make sure you give yourself some credit there, Fancy Space Owl. Um, congratulations on 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 making that recovery. I'm sorry it was rough, but I, I hope it's I hope it's nearly I hope you're nearly nearly out of it. I hope you yeah. And if there's any if there's any lingering not feeling well, I hope that goes away soon. Um, okay. Right. Now, the last time I slotted in one of these, it actually made a really sort of pleasing noise. Uh, so I'm just going to just bring this right up close to the mic just in case it does again. Ooh. Well, I personally found that very enjoyable. Okay, let's do, and there's one more. One more to go. And whereabouts is it going to go? It's going on here. Let's get the sound for that on as well. Yeah, we filmed um, we filmed quite a few more Blades in the Dark, and I desperately, desperately want to tell you just the premises for some of them because one of them in particular is is just I'm so pleased. I was really, really unsure that it was a good idea, and I was just absolutely delighted with how it went. I've been delighted with how all the ones we've filmed have been, actually. As well, like, because we've done so many, now what the ones that are going up now, I watch them and I'm like, uh, uh, I think I think I'm doing better now. And, you know, there's like, oh, I think I should have, you know, basically kicking my own butt in retrospect. But, um, but you know that's that's par for the course, isn't it? Um, oh, okay, cool. Right, a few more of these twisty trunks. One more of these and one more of these. That's good because I've only got one more of each of these. Take this and then ah ha ha ha! Look, we're going to elongate this trunk. It is this one in particular, and it's elongated like this. Let's get this sound in case it is pleasing. No. No click at all, just just smoothly and securely slid in. Nice. Fancy Space Al says, thank you all so much. I'm still suffering from a mild myocarditis and random fevers, but I think at this point my body is just being a huge drama queen. <laughs> 
Oh, fancy space owl. Um, well done for staying positive. It sounds like a rough time. Okay. Oh my gosh, is this the last... Ooh, not quite, but... A brilliant stream finale. The antennae are coming in. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Look at what they want me to do. Can you see that? I need to attach one end to like the top of the tree and then twist it round? We're doing like vines. Oh man, okay, well... I can do this, I can do this. I'm going to need, this is good, we, this, we're gonna, this is a threading the needle situation here. I'm gonna need my phone light to, to get a, the clearest view I possibly can. Okay, let's do, I assume it doesn't matter in which order I do them. Let's do this one first. So we're just gonna pop this over. There you go, look, makeshift. Just propping my phone up in the receptacle. Like this. For a makeshift uh, bit of bonus light. Okay. Here we go. Oh, look, it's, it's going to be very atmospheric and dramatic lens flare lighting for this exciting f finale moment. So that is just going to go over here. I did it. Uh, oh, okay, right, bad start. That one went uh, the wrong one, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll. That was not the one I meant to. I meant to, I meant to do this this one on this side, and it's going to wrap around the trunk this way. Come all the way around here and attach down here see this this stubby spike just there that's where we're aiming for so let's wrap it around and bring it on down. Okay, I think that's one of them. Pretty sure that is as it looks in the picture. Second one is going to do, by the look of it, basically the same thing. Just check. Okay, yes, we go over the top of this trunk here. Around here the back and just slot that one on also and that is that let's just get some more light on that and give it a give it a slow rotation that is cool Yeah, it's badass. Just check it looks. Yeah, that does look like it matches up. Great. Great. Beautiful, right. I think this next one Oh no, we've got to go a couple, couple more. We've got to do whatever this windy thing is. They've got to go on. So, look at this. What, what do you make of that? Man, my hair has just completely collapsed. Never mind. Okay. Uh, So I take this and I take that and I put this in there like so. so. Good click on that. I'm sorry, where on earth? Okay. Do you see this spike here on the end? This, I think, is just supposed to go on 
on here like that. Does that click all the way on or anything? No, I don't think so. I think it just comes to rest there. And I think we're supposed to give it a little twist so it kind of comes off at something of an angle. Uh, and then I take another one of these here. And that goes. And that goes where on earth? So the, okay, right. So the pokey end. It's going to go in there. Well, that is only just going to barely fit around sorry that was a really hard one to describe but that I believe is where that was supposed to go and possibly just like poking out to the side so you can see basically it's just all these little details that come that over in totality just give it this kind of gnarled gnarly organic look and now, for the final step of this stream, placing the trunk in, in here. Okay. Okay. Dream Club, thank you very much uh, uh, for the super chat. It says, this looks cool. Here's a little something for a future project budget. Do not have that much but you are entertaining me way more than Netflix, so I want to give back something. Thank you for being awesome. Um, thanks, Dream Club. That's very kind of you. Um, uh, I, I I really appreciate it. Don't um don't don't um for your your presence is more than enough. Don't don't feel like you uh, definitely don't feel like you you need to super, super chat if you're if you're stretched for cash. But I um but I but I certainly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for tuning in. Um. Oh, and, uh Fatima in the chat says, OMG, the tree is giving me mad Beyblade launcher flashbacks. It doesn't even really look like one, but it's very similar shape, and therefore I love it. You know what? I can see it. If I imagine holding it like this, and like I've got the that bit of plastic with on the ratchet. <laughs> That's Beyblade! <laughs> is that how it went? I don't know much. I'm sorry, I don't know much about Beyblades. I just think that I think that there is something intrinsically very funny about Beyblade. I got just I um Kate Marie says, yes, Beyblades were incredible. Oriol, Go Oriol Gonzalez says, let it rip. Fatima M says, Beyblade! So, okay. Alright. Angel Beat says Beyblades in the dark. Dan says, Beyblade stream confirmed. I think we all knew, um, see what you've done, Fatima, see you've, you've now, you've committed me to a lifetime of Beyblade content. It is with a heavy heart that I accept this burden. I'm a, I'm a Beyblader now. Okay, right. So this is, all I need to do now is just attack, click this onto here, but it's, I just, it's not super obvious. You can see the base of this and you can see like the base, it's not super obvious how to make them, how to make this thing be that thing, if you know what I mean. So I might just give it a sort of exploratory rattle. Just see if I can, oh, is that going on? Oh, I think we've got it, I think we have it. Oh, beautiful. That is in. Let's tilt that up a little bit, get a, get a, get a nice view. There we go. Gentle Mandrill says, Bay Blades in the dark, let it gravity rip. <laughs> the Oldie Crone says, I have no idea what Bay Blades is. You know what, keep it that way for as long as possible, that's my advice. And now, finally, I think it is actually starting to look a bit tree-ish. It's very wintry, obviously, because it's got no leaves or nothing. But 
that is going to do it for today's stream. Very pleased with that. Uh, you can see next we will be... Ooh, I'm really excited about this one. It's bag three. We are, uh, we are doing the pebbles look. We are going to be kind of filling in the... Let's, let's see that on the box, actually. So get a, a, a look at how it will ultimately seem. Um, back to angle face big. There we go. You can see, yeah, it's got these kind of like Lego Lego bits around the trunk that just look like rock pebbles. That's cool. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, Lauren says, I volunteer at an LGBTQ plus center with like 12 year olds uh, and Beyblades are still a big thing, but like way more advanced. It made me feel old. Well, okay. I'm surprised that Beyblades are still a big thing, but I'm much more curious about this concept of way more advanced <laughs> because I sort of wonder... Where was there for the Beyblade to go, <laughs> design-wise? I can only assume that now they're on like a huge sort of mechanical chainsaw thing, and they and once you set it spinning, it'll go for like a it'll spin for a week and soar through a building or something. <laughs> oh. What have you done? Fatima, getting us on this Beyblade tear. Unbelievable. Claire T-Rex says, Luke's up for the rest of the night googling modern Beyblades. I'm not going to wait. I'm going Google, to Google it right now. Um, here you go. Have a look at my have a look at my Lego tree while I Google modern Beyblades. Mo modern Beyblades. What are the new Beyblades? I don't want to... Oh my god, metal Beyblades. Wouldn't that kill you? The 10 best Beyblades of 2021. Good grief. Okay, so it's the same basic premise, but like, they are so much more ornate than they ever used to be. They've, they've gone, they've, they've gone, I don't know how to describe it, except to say they've gone all Kingdom Hearts. Um, Wow. There you go. Ah, look, now some people have made YouTube videos of the old school Beyblades battling the new school Beyblades. So, new school Beyblades, you think you rule the playground? You think you got what it takes to let it rip and spin in the Beyblade arena? Well, <laughs> well. <laughs> You couldn't be more wrong. The, the, you can't beat the classics, that's what I have to say. What is the newest Beyblade? The Takara Tomy Beyblade Burst Super King B163 Brave Valkyrie. This is on CBR now. Oh my god, the names of them are incredible. The Takara Tomy Beyblade Burst B148 Heaven Pegasus. These sound like the names of fighter jets. Oh my god. Honestly, while I was busy growing up and we were all, we all while we were all looking away, Beyblades just kept they just kept growing quietly. Dormant and now and now we're dealing with the Beyblade Burst Evolution Single Top Pax Bryzen S2. That's that that one's apparently good value. This stream is just gonna be oh my god. The Takara Tomy Beyblade Burst B144 Booster Zvi Longinus. The Zvi Longinus. The Takara Tomy B-59 Beyblade Burst Stamina Starter Zillion Zeus. <laughs> it's called the Zillion Zeus. <laughs> the Zillion Zeus. There's got to be a wiki for this or something. How much? How much? Just tell me how much. 22 pounds? Oh my god. 
But, but when you, when you walk into the playground and you just take off your shades and you go, hey, you want to let it rip in the Beyblade arena? And they're like, yeah, Luke, I've seen all your Beyblades and they're not up to, they're not up to much. And I'm like, oh, really? Maybe you haven't seen my newest acquisition. It's the Zillion Zeus. Shall we Beyblade? Let's be running. Running. Okay, that's probably enough Beyblade content. Alright, I might just read the name of one more. The Takaratomi Beyblade Burst B161 Booster Glide Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Oh my god, I need to steal these names. I in Gravity Rip, I have like a table for like to help the GM generate um like racer names, rival names, like basically for like quick generation of NPCs. And none of the names I've got are as good as Takara Tomi Beyblade Burst B103 Screw Trident. The B104 Burst Winning Valkyrie 12 Volcanic. Oh my god! The Takara Tomi 4D Metal Fusion Death Quetzalcoatl 125 RDF Sonokong. I couldn't even get to the end of that without laughing. <laughs> oh my god. The Beyblades have evolved while we weren't looking. I'm going to say that again. It's the Takara Tomi 4D Metal Fusion Death Quetzalcoatl 125 RDF Sonokong. I'm gonna- I'll put it in chat. I'm copying this from Amazon. Okay? This is copied direct from Amazon. The Takara Tomi Japan 4D Metal Fusion Death Quetzalcoatl 125 RDF Sonokong. <laughs> it just keeps going. And Sonokong is so good. Oh, D Dream Club super chatting for the Zillion Zeus donation. Oh my gosh. Right. We have to stop. We have to stop. There are only two more in this list. The Beyblade Burst Turbo Slingshock Riptide Blast Set. That's not as good as the Sonokong. Yeah, and the Beyblade Burst B144 Booster Zvilonginus. Yeah, we've all heard of the Zvilonginus. The Booster Glide Ragnarok. Yeah, the Zillion Zeus. Hello, here's one for the here's here's one for the renegades in the pack. Here's one for those who don't play by the rules. The B142 Booster Judgment Joker. The Joker in the pack. Oh, it's got like Harlequin patterns, you know, like they're kind of diamond things. The Bay Battle Burst GTB155 Booster Master Diabolos. Okay, I have to stop. And yet yeah, I'm still scrolling. Does it? Oh my gosh, there's there's Q, there's a Beyblade Q and A about buying launches. Does it matter how many pieces my Beyblade has? What are the different top types I could buy? Does it matter which Beyblade I use with my launcher? How can I tell if a Beyblade is left or right spin? Can I switch around the pieces to create my own Beyblade? Absolutely not. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, I'm just going to read it one more time. The Takara Tomi Japan 4D Metal Fusion Death Quetzalcoatl 125 RDF Sonokong. <laughs> right, but you know, the Lego tree was good though, wasn't it? Okay, next time we're going to put some branches and some some trees on this bad boy. Thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. That's going to do it for now. Let's just get another little quick look at the bags that we're going to be uh, deploying next next time. We've got our blossoms here. Uh, alternate green blossoms. Um, these are the, these are going to be the little stones. So really looking forward to them. Um, and this is just a great big bag of Lego wood, which we're going to make into a tree. Cool. All right, I don't have a date set for the next uh, stream, but I will um, try and do it soon. I don't think it will be as long a gap. Hopefully not. As I say, though, gra getting Gravity Rip out the door is keeping me pretty occupied in my spare time. So, um, but yeah, I will do my best. David Badzalotti, thank you very much for the super chat. That's really, 
Uh, kind of you. Um, okay, right. Take it easy, folks. Stay safe out there. Have a good one. Till next time. Um, remain unhaunted. By Lego. <laughs> By Beyblades. Uh, all right. Look after yourselves and each other's, folks. See you next time. Bye.